Landing one taps, especially at long range, is a great feeling, but it can be seriously hard to do consistently. You're having to land your crosshair on what's essentially just a few pixels, and if you're slightly off target, having to adjust that tiny amount can actually be the biggest challenge. Fortunately, there's a technique we can use for microcorrections that gives us pixel perfect control and all we need is a pinky finger. And this is how it works. So, normally when we're aiming at these tiny distant targets, we can get the crosshair to the head if we're slow and careful enough, but in real gameplay, we're on the clock. So, our aiming movements have to be much faster. If you try to quickly move your mouse a tiny distance, you'll find there's probably a minimum distance you have to travel to make the mouse move. And therein lies the problem. If the distance you need to adjust to land that headshot is shorter than the minimum distance you can quickly move your mouse, that microcorrection will overshoot. This is where the pinky technique comes in. Instead of having our micro adjustments restricted by a minimum movement distance, we can have a complete gradient with good aim speed. You can do this with a palm style grip, but a claw style will work better. I'll link to my mouse grip guide in the description if you want some more info on the grips. You're also going to want to have trimmed fingernails for this. So gripping our mouse, the key here is to have the tip of our pinky lined up with the bottom of the mouse. When you need increased precision, you push your pinky into the mouse and down into the mouse pad at about a 20 degree angle. When aiming to the right, the sensation is tucking your pinky under the mouse, which totally locks it up. This essentially gives you a wall to manipulate your mouse against which is where we get complete control over our microcorrections while still maintaining as much speed as we like. When aiming to the left, it's fairly similar. There will still be that tucking sensation, but you'll apply more force down into the mouse pad. This lets our pinky work as an anchor, greatly increasing your friction and giving you that same great control. Although this time, instead of pushing against a wall, you're pulling against an anchor. Now you can get your thumb involved too when aiming to the left, if you tuck your thumb knuckle down into the pad, it can work as a wall as well, but this variation is secondary. Work out the pinky first, then start experimenting. For many of you, this type of technique, or even just having your fingertips skating along the mouse pad, will feel very alien. To see if this is something you want to add to your aiming toolkit, I recommend playing refrags 100 targets and making certain you're on the head before shooting. Flick to a target, Micro adjust with the pinky technique to land dead center, then fire. Slowly increase your speed until the pinky starts to feel like the natural response to micro correcting. Once you get comfortable, jump into refrags crossfire and only go for one tap headshots. This really puts the pressure on. If you miss, you're probably dead. So don't expect to progress far or beat your high score. The purpose here is to work on your micro corrections and increase your headshot consistency. You can choose to play in specific areas with longer range targets too, if you find the closer ones aren't requiring enough correction. This has to be one of my favorite aiming techniques. There's just something amazing about being able to dynamically control your friction. It's kind of like playing with mouse acceleration, but it only works exactly when you want it to. Knowing when you should take the time to microcorrect is just as important as being able to do it well. So be sure to check out our flickshot guide in this video here to ensure you use the right techniques at the right time for maximum potency. You can find more of my aiming content over at Struth Gaming on YouTube, but for now, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.